Ah, morning crew. Morning, Captain. Ugh. Morning, Captain. Morning, Mikey. Morning, Captain. Morning, Andy. Morning, Captain. Morning, Scruff. Morning, Captain. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to find some new dialogue next season. Yeah, well. Morning, Captain. Yeah, yeah, morning, morning. Hey, Captain, I have a question. Oh, yeah, sure. What's up, Mikey? Well, okay, so I was wondering, how did Captain Evil escape from prison anyways? Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that. Hmm. Well, I know exactly how, actually. Alright, picture it. A place that looks exactly like a place from The Hobbit. But not exactly, because that would lead to some right issues. Anyways, so, it's a prison. Very hardcore. I mean, look at those guys right there, look at that. You don't want to mess with that guy, guy's like the freaking, like, coal head from, like, Ninjago or whatever. And that guy, that, that guy looks pretty alright. But, you know, that guy, he's, he's, a, he's a tough guy, so don't mess with him. So they bring him there, this Captain Evil guy. They bring him over there, they're like, Hey, you're Captain Evil, right? And he's like, Yeah, I'm Captain Evil. Wait, Captain, what was that voice? What? That's how Captain Evil sounds. Uh, alright then. So then they threw him behind bars. They're like, hey, you're gonna stay there for a long time. Captain Evil's like, alright, man. Well, uh, I guess I'll just sit here then. So Captain Evil sat there for a long time. So long that we may as well just, like, make a little montage of this. And yeah, so he's there for like, I don't know, like maybe like three minutes or something. So yeah, it was just a pretty long time. So anyways, yeah, he's like, hey, I got to break out of here. Yar, I'm Captain Evil. Yar, yeah, yar, I got to break out of here. So, so he, uh, he thought about it for a while. He's like, hey, my brain is pretty big, even though it used to be small because I was a dummy head. But now that I joined Captain Dim's uh, help, I helped him like uh, get out of the island, even though that's not happened yet. You know, I'm still technically evil. But uh, I'm like, hey, I need to help Captain Dim. He must be uh, trapped on an island or whatever. So it's like, uh, all right, I gotta, uh, I, I just gotta formulate a plan now because my brain is a lot bigger now since I'm a good guy. Anyway, so he's like, all right, so uh, if I break out of here, then I'll be free. So then uh, he broke out of there. Wait, Captain, what do you mean you just broke out of there? Well, he noticed finally that there's like, there's the gate thing back there, which is actually just a gate. It's not even bars. And they also noticed that, like there's a giant hole right where his cell is. You know, you see like this is the front and like the cell is like right there. So it should be like behind that piece. But even still, there's nothing back there either to keep him in there. So the Imperials are just like complete dummy heads. Oh yeah, I can agree on that. Yeah, all right. So he's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, and then he just, uh, he, uh, he was about to walk out of there. But then suddenly like a spaceship lands down. And the spaceship lands down, and this guy comes out. He's like, "Hey, you want to like go into space, man?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, of course I want to go into space. Take, take me to space." He's like, "All right, well, let's go." And then they they go. The guards were like, "Hey, did you see that spaceship, man?" He's like, "No, that was last episode, no, man. There aren't any spaceships in this episode." He's like, "Oh yeah, right. You can't even see me. There, there I am. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no spaceships this time. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, I know I'm right." Uh, yeah, yeah, I know you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Yeah, Captain, I think you've had a little too much caffeine this morning. Uh, and, and no, 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 of course not, Scruff. I'm not jittery or anything. <laughs> so they're in space, and uh, Captain Evil was like, "Hey, this is pretty boring. Can you like uh, take me somewhere interesting?" So yeah, sure, I'll take you to see Matt Damon. And, I, and then they go to see Matt Damon. So when they see Matt Damon, they're like, "Oh wow, this is so cool." But you know what's cooler than Matt Damon? What? Nothing. But we should probably go home. Yeah, you're right. And then they go home. They, they, uh, the spaceship uh, runs out of uh, fuel, so they just they just walk home uh, from Mars. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Captain, that sounds highly unlikely. Scruff, there's a lot of sound scientific evidence to prove all of this. A lot of great scientists have studied this, and, and it's real. Oh yeah, well, where's the sound research from, anyways? Isaac Newton. All right, Fig Newton. Here's what I think happened. So, Captain Dim's story is obviously completely fake. So here's what I think could have happened. Man, nah, completely fake. Yeah, right. Alright, so picture it. A jail that kind of looks like that one place from The Hobbit, but isn't at all. So, you got this uh, Captain Evil guy. He's evil, and the Imperials, they take him there because they want to lock him up there forever. Oh, you're going in there forever, Captain Evil. And then Captain Evil says, of course, I will break out eventually. What? That doesn't sound like Captain Evil either. Yeah, I know, I just wanted to make him sound super manly. I mean, the guy that voices him is the same guy that voices Batman, so, I mean, you gotta make him sound really manly. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. So anyways, the guard's like, no, you're not breaking out of this prison. No one's broken out of this prison. You know how many people have broken out of this prison? Nobody, because no one's breaking out of this prison. 
You could have just said nobody broke out this prison. You just like made it super complex. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to make this sound like it was a really well written dialogue, but it really isn't well written at all because it's all improvised. So get in the cell, god dang it. So Captain Evil is in his cell and he starts thinking. He's like, hmm, maybe I should help Captain Dim. You know, he can't actually see the future, so he doesn't know that Captain Dim is in danger. He's like on an island or anything. But he does know that Captain Dim is not the smartest person and he gets into trouble more often times than not. So he's like, Hmm, I bet Captain Dim needs my help. So he just sits there, and he thinks of ways to get out of there. But suddenly, a guard walks by. And that guard is... Mikey All-Star. In such a clever disguise, you'd never guess that it really was him. Oh, yeah! Oh, hello, boys. Just reporting in. I'm gonna go check on Captain Evil. Alright, but what's your name, soldier? My name is not Mikey All-Star. Alright, very believable. Have a good day. Alright. You know, that guy reminds me of someone. Who? The Knight with the Silver Sword. Hey there, Captain Evil. What do you want? You see, Captain Evil couldn't even detect that that was Mikey All-Star. It's such clever disguise that he has that it was just so impossible to tell that that was Mikey All-Star. So Mikey's like, oh, hey, it's me, Mikey All-Star. Wait a second, that's you, Mikey? Wow, that's a very clever disguise. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, it works in LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, so why wouldn't it work here? So, all right, so I'm going to get you out of there. All right, you think you should be shouting this? Oh, it's okay. Uh, no one's gonna hear us. But that was far from the truth. Mikey's distinctive voice carries so far that you could hear it all the way across the other continent. Oh, what? They're gonna break him? Break out Captain Evil? Let's stop him. All right. Oh, let's let's do it. Should we just uh, I actually do it instead of just talk about it? Probably. Where are the weapons? I have no idea. This is gonna be a big problem, isn't it? Yes, we are. We are so underprepared. We can just set him on fire. That's a bad idea. We need to capture him, not set him on fire. But, uh, we could set him on fire and then capture him. It doesn't make any sense either. Let's just get the weapons, alright? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go. But thankfully, while they were talking and being distracted by their stupidity, Mikey All-Star used a screwdriver and got Captain Evil out of there. Oh, wait, hang on, Scruff. Do screwdrivers even exist in pirate times? I don't know what I look like. Wikipedia? I mean, a little. Wait, does Wikipedia exist during pirate times? Obviously. So then, Mikey and Captain Evil teleport out there before the guys can even get them. Alright, here we go! Wee! Oh man, we failed, dude. I still say we should have lit him on fire. What? And that's what happened. Wow, that actually seems pretty likely. What? No, it doesn't. No way. There's no way any of that could happen. I mean, mine definitely makes way more sense than that. Oh, I have an idea. I know how he broke out. So here, picture this. Alright, so Captain Evil is being taken to like this hobbit prison thingy or whatever, and uh, so they're like, hey, you're Captain Evil, you're evil, right? And he's like, yeah, of course I am, it's in my name. And he's like, alright. So the guard is like, hey, uh, we're gonna lock you up in this prison for like a long time, man. But then Captain Evil's like, oh, you can't do that, that would be rude, you, you're not supposed to be rude. And then uh, the, the guard is like, oh yeah, you're right, we're not supposed to be rude. So they let him go. Uh, the end. I mean, it does seem pretty likely. What? 